What's up guys? This is Monster Jam Stone here, back with another video. Join us now as we give the good, the not so good, and the straight up ugly from New Orleans, Greensboro, and Columbus, as well as cover the latest news including the USA One driver being announced, Brandon Vinson driving Son of a Digger in Sunrise, Monster Jam full tour schedule, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Monster Truck content. This week, we have lots to cover, so we'll just give it the good, the not so good, and the straight up ugly. But for full results, make sure to check out the Monster Jam Story on Instagram page and monsterjam.com. The good, Ryan Anderson continuing to dominate. Ryan Anderson dominated the New Orleans shows last weekend, taking every single competition win from the show. Ryan has been exceptional all year long, and it does not seem like he will be slowing down anytime soon. Tyler Menninger kicking butt. After not competing for a few weeks, Tyler Menninger returned last weekend to Green Bay. Menninger dominated the competition, winning all three racing competitions, all three skills competitions, two out of the three donut competitions, two out of the three freestyle competitions, and all three overall event championships. Menninger has unsurprisingly had a fantastic season in 2021, and you can be sure that he will continue his absolute dominance into the rest of the shows for 2021 and into 2022. The not so good and average stadium show. New Orleans surprisingly didn't really have any highlights. While Ryan Anderson quadrupling down is always impressive, the other drivers seem to have really struggled. Ultimately, it came down to either breakages ending runs early or mistakes drivers made or a combination of both. Tristan England and Megalodon nosedived his truck ending his run early while other drivers like Cody Saussier would make a mistake, such as when he bicycled into the jammer. Not a bad show, but not really a good one either. That was it with the good, the not so good, and the straight up ugly. Onto the news and our first story. Our first story for tonight is the USA One driver being confirmed. If you remember one of our previous videos, you will remember the USA One truck being sold to James Trantina. Well, he recently appeared on the Throttle Out show talking to the hosts. Trantina would announce on the show revealing that Pleasant Cook, or more famously known as 4x4 Barbie, would be driving the truck. Pleasant has been mainly known for driving mini monsters like Southern Crush. However, she has driven a full-size Southern Crush on Double Trouble for Monster Truck Throwdown. Fans are more than excited to see Pleasant continue the USA One legacy. Next up is Brandon Vincent driving Son of a Digger in Sunrise. A huge surprise only a few days ago came out announcing that Brandon Vincent would be driving Son of a Digger in Sunrise. Carl Van Horn is currently, up until this weekend, the only other driver to have driven Son of a Digger, bar obviously Ryan Anderson himself. It is unknown if this will be a one-time occurrence, but fans are excited to see more of the Son of a Digger truck, especially with Brandon behind the wheel. What do you make of this pairing? Are you excited to see Brandon and Son of a Digger? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Up next, a new look for Troublemaker. The Groth brothers have been campaigning Double Trouble and Troublemaker for quite some time. Recently, the Groth brothers purchased the old Rockstar chassis, which has been converted to the new Troublemaker. It looks eerily similar to Brodozer in terms of shape, but nonetheless, it's great to see the Groth brothers keeping the name alive. And finally, Monster Jam's full tour schedule announced. Every week, Monster Jam adds new shows, and this week we've got a huge list, including some surprising and unexpected ones. Some shows do not have currently announced dates, but the following shows have been announced. Albany, New York. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Arlington, Texas. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Dayton, Ohio. El Paso, Texas. Glendale, Arizona. Hagerstown, Maryland, which is currently scheduled for September 17th to 19th, Hildago, Texas, Houston, Texas, Nampa, Idaho, Omaha, Nebraska, Reno, Nevada, South Haven, Mississippi, currently scheduled for October 1st to 3rd, Spokane, Washington, Syracuse, New York, and Tacoma, Washington, September 17th to 19th. 
Now, most of these shows do not have a date and are yet to be added to the Monster Jam website, as these were found in an advertisement sent out to certain people. The most interesting of all of these include states like Washington, New York, and Nebraska, which haven't had any shows since the pandemic started. It's great to see Tacoma on the list, along with some potential stadium stops like El Paso and Syracuse, as well as another Glendale, Arlington, and Houston shows. Hagerstown is also another interesting one, as it will feature the Monster Jam return of Mike Vardis II in Overkill Evolution, along with Matt Cody in Iron Warrior, Storm Damage, and Hurricane Force. We will update you on whether or not the rest of the shows mentioned with no date get added to the website. What do you make of this? Are you excited to see these shows? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you all next time with some more Monster Truck content.